Would you like the story? In the old days, people buried their dead, they didn't burn them. They would wrap the body in cloth and put them in the ground. But during the rainy season, the floods wash a lot of bodies back up. So what the local people would do is collect the cloth from all of the bodies, put them together, boil it with a bunch of spices to clean it, and that's why it's this color. So you'll see some countries it's brown, purple, red, mustard colored, yellow, orange. This color is a little bit brighter because it's called royal orange. He's at a royal temple, so this is part of the uniform. The darker colors will tend to be the more traditional monks, so they won't be at a, a royal temple. There are not that many royal temples, but in this neighborhood they're all royal temples. So you'll typically see this color here. Whereas when you're in the countryside, you're gonna see darker colors. When they're here in their personal space, they'll wear what I call the casual method. So he'll take it and wrap it around his body, put the two corners together, and then just roll it up. When he's rolled it up to the body, he'll take the top part and throw it over his shoulder, and it's wrapped around his arm backwards, and so it'll hold it all in. Well, I mean, a classical toga is only one piece of cloth. It's just a very big piece of cloth, right? A classical tartan was one giant piece of cloth. 